you are looking at video 19 of my invention. You can see it's running pretty good. Uh, I want to show you my new test coil that I got. This is my new test coil. You can see it's running it inside out of there. It's got a double pivot. There's none on the other side yet. This is the only one I've built so far. But I'm going to build uh, some more of them as I go. And as you can see, it's coming in and out. Here, see it? Coming in and out of there. I'm going to put other ones in this, all these other ones too, that I haven't got to build. I just built the first test one, prototype one. It's pretty cool. You can see the orbit heights are pretty much the same. It hasn't changed on either side. You can see it's gone in inside and out, that, that coil. Let me uh, shut this off so I can uh, explain a little bit more what's going on on it. Here's my pivot coil. Uh, let me pull this right out of here. And I can show you what's going on. As you can see, it's got uh, like a little pivot arm right here where it makes it pivot back and forth down inside there and then this also pivots down inside of here I don't know if it's really necessary or not but I just did it that way and that as you can see uh, what I'm going to do is let me pull these out of here and I'll show you something here real quick I got this a piece of PCP in there and I'm going to wrap some magnet wire right around this part right here. The magnet wire over there. I got some different spools. But all I'll do is I'll just wrap that around there and see how it goes in that. You can see where it's getting black from rubbing in and out. There will be a magnet inside there. So this is just a piece of brass there as a test thing. But I got my magnets I showed you. I'll put those in it and make some holders for it. And then this thing, both these are pivoting. You can see this pivots back and forth, and this pivots, and that and there. So, and then here's my coil. This is my end coil. I could wrap any type of magnet wire. There's some different grades I could put in there. You can see it. It's kind of black from it rubbing in there. So it show that it's moving back and forth in there. You know, I'll put a little bit of lubricant to help it out. Maybe I should. I haven't did that yet. I was just kind of got it together in that and I can just slide this right back inside of here put this coil back up move this back up like so and it's back into place as you can see and then I can refire it back up and we'll I'm not going to touch it. And it's working again. I can put whatever magnet wire I want to put in it. I think, I don't know if the double pivot does it much good. I can kind of hold still. It seems like it's, I can hold still with my fingers. I don't think it's really necessary. Just the pivot on the end from testing it. You can see it's coming in and out of there. I'll put like a real thin oil inside there. So it doesn't wear on the magnet. And then I'll put them all along here. As I go along, and you'll see, and I'll, have, I'll do like four, 16 of them. And then, look, it's coming along. You can see it from here how good it's going inside here. I could even just, probably, I don't even, I could probably have it stationary, but it, it seems like it's doing really good with the pivot. It's straight. The problem I had before was, was you know, this distance set me back out a little bit. When I came back in and out, it had that space, so I could have it a lot closer because of that pivot. I put a pivot in that spot there, and when it goes back in and out, it'll pivot much better. That's one of the things I want to get. You've got to get as close as you can. It's run pretty beautiful. 
but it's just basically it's made out of PCP and what I did was I put made these rings and stuff up for it and put it inside there with those that double pivot Isn't that pretty cool and I bolt these on the side to hold this inside here there's a like a little bracket and then there's a screw that goes in here some washers and it kind of holds itself inside there and that and I could put any type of magnet wire I want to put in it I could put uh, there's different grades in that I could pull it back out change whatever grade he wants so what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start making some more of these coils I'll zoom right on in some some more of those coils in that and that'll be pretty cool to put them in each one of these. Uh, I'm starting to learn how to get them in and out easy and stuff. And it, it's running pretty good, Nat. Uh, this is the crucial part of it, to find out what it does. And you know what? I don't even have to hit over Unity. I mean, if I could just have more efficiency than what, you know, your normal generators have, this thing could be, you know, built way bigger, as you all know. I mean, and I... Could continue on. I notice it doesn't have much, you know, deterrent. It doesn't take much to turn this. This thing turns real easy. It's not. It's not very hard at all. There's no banging or nothing. It turns way easier. I mean, it's just all it is is these magnets come around and hitting all these lever arms. They're not pendulums. They're I call them lever arms. And that, so I'm, I'm just going to keep working on that. I'm going to keep, you know, it takes time to build these coils. You just don't build them overnight. I'm going to build the coils first. And uh, as soon as I get those coils built, then I'm going to start putting the magnet wires and start wiring up. And then I'm going to see what it does here. See what kind of output I got. And see how this thing's going to work. I mean, it's, it's coming together really good. I mean, it's beautiful and as soon as I get all these parts done you know right now it's, it's I'm still going around with the government on the patents right now you know they just don't hand it to you right off the bat and I'm still working with it hopefully I can get it here with it maybe within this year and that and then I'll get my financial backer and stuff like that once I prove this thing is and it doesn't have to hit over Unity. I mean, this thing, all it's got to do is be more efficient than the generators we develop today. I mean, right now, you're looking at a gener you know, power plant net compared to what the energy is being put in, how much heat's being developed in that, you're only looking at maybe 4%. And that's it's just, it's just because of the eddy currents, the lenses law, and that I'm going to have to see how that enters with this. And I'm going to have to work through that. But I don't think it, I mean, it's got enough power to go in there and that. So we'll just see how the eddy currents do when you spread it out instead of having sure power putting into it like our normal generators that we built today. And I'm working on that and I'm going to run some of these tests on this. So I ain't got a whole lot more to say on this, but I'll just have to start building these one at a time. There's, there's a total of 16 of them. I got one built. Plus, I got to hollow out the inside of this here. Uh, let me show you one more second here. I had to hollow out the inside of that too to make some room so the coil will fit down in there and pivot. So that's a lot of work. Now, so I also got to build, and then you got to bolt these on the side here, your holders for it. You know, and then sometimes. I'm just going to have to figure out what I'm doing on that. And it's taken a lot of time to build all that and hollow all that out. So, I mean, it's just not going to just be a few minutes in that, as you can see. So, hey, you guys just take it easy in that. And maybe I'll just fire it up and then close out the video. And you can just see it run one more time. I'll see you later. Goodbye.